we need to have an honest conversation about simplification. If you're like me and like I was several years ago, 10 years ago, I struggled with uh, too many things going on, too many distractions going on. And still to this day, I'm working on simplifying more and more and more of my attention. Simplification will bring you more and more peace and more concentration of power. This is a major problem in today's society. They have you taking 1500 classes before you figure out what you want to do with your life. Uh, all these classes, 99% of them have nothing to do with what you're doing with your life. And yet we're going to spend tons of time, tons of resource, tons of just busting your ass, uh, staying up late, drinking energy drinks, trying to cram for these tests that have nothing to do with what you're doing later in life. It is a scattered society, to put it lightly. And this comes in many forms. We have the scattered energy of the education system. We have a scattered money supply going all over the world, doing things that do not benefit us. And we have the pornography, scattering people's energy that way. We are living in a dissipated society. And the only way for you to defeat this societal push to dissipate you is to command control over your energy and concentrate that energy between one and three things. This is what I tell my practitioners. You can't do 500 different things. If you try to do more than three things, your energy will be scattered and you will be wasting your life becoming some kind of second rate or third rate practitioner and something and not really build any true value for yourself. Me personally, I have two things I focus on, martial arts and spirituality, and that's it. I'm telling you, if you try to do six things, seven things, you will be dissipated. Your work will show it. The people that are the most successful generally focus on one thing, two things max, maybe three, but beyond that, you're just wasting energy. Simplification, getting on your definite purpose, identifying your talents, your gifts, will greatly enhance your peace and your day-to-day -day steadfastness and self-discipline. I'm telling you this, as someone who has two degrees, several certificates, and I'll tell you what, a couple of these actually aided in what I'm doing now, but some of them didn't. And so you can easily be thrown off and waste years of your life doing things that, that really don't matter. So while I think there is goodness in all forms of education if you're learning true wisdom I, I do so don't hate yourself if you've already done this because you learned something of value from it all I'm saying here is there's a more direct path if you instead of going to college that first year just spend your time figuring out what you're good at what has always been there for you in my case it was martial arts settling on a definite purpose and go ahead and start it because you may start some venture and some job and realize you hate it and then come back to square number one. Okay, don't like that. What's next? But go ahead and start it. I did this with computers and what I realized when I was taking these online courses is that it makes me go crazy. I start cussing. I start being extremely frustrated and I really, at the end of it, I just hate it. Uh, I like the draw of it. I like the draw of having security, job security, uh, a good paycheck. That is a draw, and I do find some of it interesting.
okay? But for, for me, sitting in front of a computer and trying to figure out code is very uh, against my nature. And so ultimately it was not my path, but I had to start it or else I'd still be sitting around thinking about it, thinking, oh, maybe I need to do this. The best way to do that I've found is to enroll in these online courses. They're very inexpensive and you can figure out what it is you should be getting into right off the bat. They have all subjects, you name it, if it's finance, if it's real estate, whatever, enroll in one of those classes, see if it's for you. Ultimately, listen to God. God has the answer for you. Listen to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Be still. Focus on what you're hearing from the universe. Usually, you'll be getting messages about what's for you, and you have to discern, is this from the devil? Is it from God? Does it feel right in your soul? Do you feel at peace when you talk about it? Do you feel enthusiastic when you talk about it? These are all signs that this could be for you. So this video here is about simplification. If you spend a lot of time researching stuff online and you just can't focus, that's probably the cause. Your attention is being split between many different things and you go to focus on one thing to try to get something done and now because you've spent hours scrolling, now all of a sudden you can't focus on actually getting that project done because your mind is still going haywire. So instead, get before the Lord. Be still. Meditate. Sit stilly. Be at peace. Try to shut out all the distractions. That is one of the best ways to focus is to meditate or pray. Breathe. Focus on that breath. Turn off the lights if you need to. Just don't fall asleep because going to sleep or putting on binaural beats and music, that's not true meditation. True meditation is being silent and it's being still. And sometimes it takes time to really get into meditation, maybe 15 minutes of just being still and silent and breathing with your back straight. I do have a free meditation course, by the way, uh, if you do want to enroll in that, it is off the website. I welcome anyone to get on that. Um, look, we can't do everything in this life. There's simply not enough time. There's simply not enough time to do it. In order to master anything, or at least become uh, proficient in, or an expert in, you have to pick one or two things and get on those, and don't waver from those. Stay on it, because that will build value. You will actually get somewhere doing a few things, or even one thing or two things, versus 500 things or 10 things. And look, it's natural to want to to go through a phase where you're figuring yourself out, but don't let that go on too far. In today's world, they want you as a perpetual student, constantly learning things that have no bearing on your future and have no bearing on what kind of value you're going to provide others in the future. And so again, it dissipates your energy it wastes your time. And ultimately, I don't like using that word because you come to a point, you have to forgive yourself, you have to um, come to terms with it. But there's a much more direct route and that's really tuning in to what you want to do. So y'all, simplification is key. When you simplify your life, you feel so much better. When you wake up in the morning, you know what you're going after. You know what you're doing. You have an idea of what you're doing. There's still that uh, aspect where anything could happen because you're, you're free, you're free in Christ. But at the same time, you know what you have been gifted with so you know what you're going after. That's key. I can't tell you how many years I've spent wondering, should I go after another degree? Should I get going with this type of job? Maybe I should do this, maybe I should do this. No. No, come back to your heart. Your heart in communion with the Lord knows best. Now, if you've gone off in a sin and you're starting to chase money and you're, you're going wrong things, you have the wrong things in your heart, then, then yeah, maybe that's not right. 
But if you have peace in your heart and communion with the Lord, ask what he truly wants from you and try to start it now rather than later. That's the key. Uh, if you're say, hey, I'm going to write a book one day, start writing it now. Know what you're getting into. It won't write itself. By the way, here's another thing. And I've said this in another video is that all work works. And that's very true. If you start trying to write a book, your first book may suck. And in fact, it probably will. A lot of people will not even start because they're trying to get all the things perfect. You can't do that. You have to just start and stay in one area of expertise. The world is so vast now with all these different things to get into that that's really all you can do is specialize in something. We live in a world of specialization and you try to do, if you try to do 500 different things, it'll be difficult for you. Again, I say three maximum. This video here is about reminding you that simplification brings peace. And this is not talked about enough because the society at large wants to dissipate us. And if we don't recall that simplification brings peace, then we can easily become distracted. Remember, Jesus would go out to pray. He'd go to the mountain to pray. He'd get away to pray. I've found that to be very, very useful to get away to pray, or at least to go somewhere quiet, away from your electronics to pray. I did an EMF test the other day and found that near my outlets, specifically the ones that had the, the plug with the mini outlets, and I forget the name of them, but I should know this, but you plug mini plugs into them. Those had a large field of EMFs that were actually high EMFs coming off of them. So what I started doing was shutting those power, uh, cords, those power um, surge protectors off when I'm around them as much as possible. And I just felt better all of a sudden. So again, I highly recommend y'all checking out the EMF readers because I had no idea that was going on. I had it going on near my bed and I've tested it before and it wasn't like that. But for some reason, when you plug more things into your power cord, they just it, it explodes it in my case. So be mindful of that because you don't want to be absorbing EMFs, especially in your sleep. So again, this scatters the brain. We need to simplify our lives, I think, because I can tell, I'll tell you what, simplifying your life brings so much more peace it brings concentration of power, which leads to building more value in your skill. And it also makes you feel better. You're no longer scatterbrained. You can focus on what you truly need to be focused on. And you're not wasting your time. Every time you step into that same field and you learn something new and you add something to it, you're just building your reservoir and knowledge in that area, which truly makes you an expert in that. So y'all, simplify. That's the message today. Simplify. Make your life simple. Don't try to do everything. I mean, there are so many distractions out there. If you try to do everything, you will have no power. You will be powerless. You will not have that poise also. You will just be scattered and dissipated. So simplify, start right now, start clearing out all the books. I did a clear out earlier this week where I, I took a bunch of books to Goodwill that I'm never going to read again. And it just felt good just getting rid of stuff. Take it to Goodwill. If you have clothes, you're not going to wear. Take those to Goodwill. If you have furniture, you're not going to sit in or use anymore. Take it to Goodwill. Give it away. All of a sudden, I just felt this lift. I felt this, just this clearingness. And... Um, and I still feel it. It feels just great to have more space. So y'all, okay, I'm going to wrap it up, but this is about simplification. Before I go, I also want to let you know, I do have a new course available. This is a cardio 
uh, boxing slash kickboxing course. And it's actually more like an app, which are basically these videos you pop on and you can follow along as you hit your heavy bag. And I also teach you the proper skill in boxing and kickboxing, the kicks, the punches, and uh, even a couple of these even have music with them. So you literally pop these babies on, you follow along, it's got timers. I put a lot of work into these things. So I made these very affordable. These are on the website. All the payments are completely secure through Stripe. I don't store any of your payment information. It's all um, very secure. And you guys, I hope you guys will love it. Um, I've had good feedback from the practitioners so far. And so that one's fresh off. I mean, it's, it's ready to go. And then uh, we have the Ayurveda, the herbalism course, magnificent course to get going with. The self-discipline course, if you'd like to increase uh, your awareness in self-discipline, very, very good stuff to put into your consciousness. The divine masculine course, if you're trying to enhance your magnetic energy, I highly recommend that course. And... Um, Y'all, get going. I mean, simplify is what I should say. Simplify your life. Figure out what it is you love and get going. Okay, see you next time. Peace out. Uh, as always, feel free to comment. And thank you for joining me. See you next time.